I am the Chronicler. I shall record your adventures in my book of legends. Tell me of your deeds. Alright, let's play some more Fallout New Vegas. Ben Silver Rush. I don't think we've been in the Atomic Wrangler yet. Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. What can I get you? I have some work I need handled. Back before we instituted the caps up front rule, we used to allow customers tabs. Well, needless to say, a few customers snuck out without paying their bills. We need someone to collect. The job would pay a percentage. Fair enough. Interesting. Well, you're gonna need to speak with my brother, James. Yep. Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. Really now, this is news. We could possibly supply what they need, but they would need to supply us in kind. They have the tech know-how to make our stills work more efficiently. Pure alcohol means we can get our customers drunk quicker. Getting our customers drunk quicker means more caps spent at the tables and stuffing slots, if you know what I mean. Plus, the extra alcohol can serve as surgical disinfectant for their needs. The followers are a good lot. They've stitched up our boys in the past. Good. We can supply them with all the med they need. For the fixer, we'll only be able to send over some basic drug components. We're not in the business of getting people off drugs, so we don't really dabble in that stuff. The followers should be able to whip some up with what... They just need to agree to fix up our stills and keep them maintained, plus cover the cost for raw materials needed to make the alcohol. Sure. Beer, scotch, vodka, whiskey, huh? Talk to you. Huh. Hey! Something you need, kid? Hunting and killing, plain and simple. Bingo! Now, if you're done asking stupid questions, I have more important things to do. You've got a mouth on you, kid. If I weren't busy working for the Garretts, I might give you a few lessons in common courtesy. Get lost. Really, asshole? Whoa, baby. Am I looking at a mirror? Or are you just that ugly? What? You mean you're not part of the act? Huh. Sorry. Thought you were the heckler Garrett hired to spice up the shows. Yeesh, is my act that bad? Or are you just that dumb? Yeah, that's right. Got me a nice juicy contract with the management. Okay, I admit it. I ain't exactly rolling in caps here. But what do you want? I'm under contract. I can't get out. Either you need to get your eyes checked, or that famous fleeting thing is true. And since I happen to be world famous, you must be going blind. Name's Adrian. Bet you never saw a ghoul in a suit before, huh? Of course, you don't exactly strike me as the worldly type. Hmm. I got some buttholes this far, huh? May have to come in and kill everybody. Good day. Cash here. Huh. Is this bathroom? Yeah. Get your shitters. Hmm. You told me regular.
You better get out of here if you know what's good for you. Hmm. You better get out of here. Getting it on. Somebody told me the other day you were bright. I wasn't sure if you meant smart or radioactive. <laughs> for the king? Anything's possible, I suppose. How much is it worth to you to meet the big man? You know what? I think you and the king have some business to discuss. Head on through. The king's the bored-looking guy by the stage. Can't fucking miss him. Look, Rexy, someone new's come to see us. Poor boy. He hasn't been feeling well lately. I'm the king. What can I do for you? Maybe so. Maybe so. You look like you might be able to handle yourself. Tell you what, you do me a favor, and I'll have some more work for you when it's done. Sound good? I'll start you off with something easy. Did you notice the bodyguards for hire near the gates when you entered Freeside? Yeah. It's good money if you can stay alive long enough. Freeside's not as safe as it used to be, so the money is well earned. Usually well earned, that is. Recently, my man told me that one of those bodyguards, a fellow named Oris, is making a little too much money. He's making a killing in repeat business. Once someone hires him, they never want anyone else. I want you to find out why. Specifically, I want you to hire him, play the part of an innocent tourist, and follow his lead. If nothing happens, so be it. But I'm guessing things won't go so smoothly. Call it a hunch. So, what do you say? Okay, then. Once you part ways, return here. I'll look forward to hearing your report. Oh, and take this to cover the hiring cost. Yeah, all right. 
If you need to cross Freeside, no one will keep you safer than I will. I'm sure... I knew you'd be back. Ready to hire the best? Done and done. I want to mention a few things up front. In order to ensure your safety, I need you to follow my instructions to the letter. We'll be heading down the main street here the whole way down. No detours. You go off sightseeing, and I go off to find another customer. I'll keep a brisk pace, so try not to fall behind. Now let's head out. Here is the old Mormon fort. You get roughed up, the followers there will patch you right up. Not that I ever need their services. Mm. Up ahead on the next block is where the kings hang out. Don't let them scare you. Come to Mick and for all your shopping needs. Please. Down to the right here is the fun part of town. You haven't seen Freesop till you've been to the Wrangler. Hey, slow down. I don't like the look of some of those men ahead. Let's take a different way around. Hmm. other hacks. You'd be up to your ass in low life right about now. Uh, noticed that, did you? I keenly aimed one of the shots through some soft tissue of one of them to hit the man behind him. Call it a hunch. You do this job for long enough, and you learn to trust your instincts. Uh, oh, he's pretending to be dead. That's funny. <laughs> Well, here we are. No worse for wear, are you? I trust that if you need to cross Freeside again, you'll know who to hire. Yeah. Dirty dog, bro. Hmm. Now. 
What do you have for me? So that's how it happens. Okay, then. I'll have some guys pull him off the street when no one's looking. You've shown me something, so maybe you can help me with a matter that's a little more important. A lot of folks around these parts who've been here a while resent the sheer number of people that have come into the area since the Strip was built. In turn, the newcomers, most of whom come from the NCR, have gotten ornery from being resented. Sometimes things get violent. This is one of those occasions. Recently, a few friends of mine were attacked, and I want you to find out who did it. Words come that they just woke up over at the old Mormon fort just north of here. Head on over, see if they remember anything. Good, I like that enthusiasm. Return when you have some information we can use. Good to see you. That's phenomenal. Who did you find? They supply Freeside with drugs and liquor. From my point of view, they're just better organized pushers. Upgrading their stills would increase their supply of liquor and chems. How does that help Freeside? True, we could help addicts, but the cycle of addiction, recovery, and relapse would remain. Good point. We wouldn't be paying anything for their supplies, just a portion of our food waste to make ethanol. We get food from nearby wasteland farmers in exchange for medical services, so we could put our caps back into helping Freeside. Tell the Garretts we'll keep their stills running if they provide us with supplies. Thank you for arranging this. You've been a godsend. I appreciate how you've been helping us so far. Good to see a friend of our government. Hi. If you're looking for medical help, try the other doctors. I'm just a researcher, not even a particularly good one. Me specifically? No. I'm sure Julie Farkas does, though. Lab coat point. I'm sure she can find something. See you around. What is it? Can't you see I want to be left alone with my friend here? Oh, that's different then. How can I help? I'll do anything to get the bastards that did this. Well, it happened at night, around 11. We'd recently made some caps off a bit of scrap we found and wanted to invest in wisely. As we were leaving the Wrangler, we must have taken a wrong turn and ended up in the squatter side of town. From out of nowhere, these big guys show up and start barking questions at us, wanted to know if we were locals. The kid there is about as proud as a local around here gets, and started yelling back at him. Then all hell broke loose. Kid got the worst of it, sad to say. They were big guys, young too, no old geezers like me. Hell, none of them looked even half my age. I was mostly face down in the dirt, begging for my life when it happened, so I only got a quick look at them. I hope you find the bastards that did this. 
If you want, try asking my friend Wayne over there about him. He saw more than I did. Wayne, it's okay. The king sent him. That true? Did the king really send you? I don't really know what else I can add. They were a bunch of guys, better dressed than most freesiders, I guess. That help? What? No, I thought you were supposed to be here to help, and here you are making accusations. Hey, wait, I just remembered something. I might have heard one of the guys that attacked us call another by name. We had just about had it when one of them said, Hey, Lou, we gotta go. At least I think he said Lou. Might have been something else. Now that I think of it, he said Lou something, something with a T. Tenant, that's what he called him, Lieutenant. He probably said Lieutenant, Wayne. The boy means well, but he's dumb as a mutant sometimes. Hello. What's up? Hmm. Lieutenant, huh? Damn. Huh. Damn. <clears throat> if it can be bought, it can be found. Yeah, shut up. Have you found anything out, or were you just here to chat? Bunch of soldier boys, huh? They usually don't come around these parts since their big base is on the other side of the strip. If they're coming over here now, it's gotta be for a reason. I didn't want to believe the rumors that they're looking to take over Vegas, but now, if something big is going down, I'm sure rumors of it will have spread. Ask around, particularly in the squatter areas where the NCR folk hang. You might also mosey on over to the Mormon fort and chat Julie Farkas up. The followers tend to be in the know about these things. Just don't ask her what to do about it. She'll probably ask you to hug someone or something. Hi. We're not even allowed to sell people only at Mick and Ralph's. Welcome. Only a little. A friend of mine, Major Elizabeth Kieran, has been handing out supplies to the poor a little west of here. What about it? I know something's got them riled up, but I've been too busy with other matters to really look into it. If you're looking into the matter, talk to Elizabeth. She's in charge of the operations here in Freeside, though she won't open up to you right away. If Elizabeth holds out on you, tell her that I sent you. She should be a little more forthcoming if you mention my name. Was there anything else you wanted to talk about? Hello. You 
You look like a person in need of a good meal. And I'm afraid I have not... to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. Welcome back. What can I... Hey, that's great. Once our stills are... Most might view us as drug dealing and... We've got enough crime in Freeside without a bunch of strung out junkies robbing trade... Talk to you later. Hello. Don't think I've seen.
Ordinarily, I'd take your word on that. But I've come up with a fairly simple way to tell who's lying. This'll just take a... Okay, first question. Who was the most popular president in NCR history? Kimball, Tibbet, Tandy, or Peterson? In that case, I... You looking to take the test again? That's fine. You looking to take the test? Interesting. Fair enough. Very good. I'm happy to say you've proven you're definitely an NCR citizen, which means you qualify for our program. Just head to the northwest part of town by the old train station. We start handing out supplies at six every night. There'll be some guards by the door, but just remember that the password is hope, and they'll let you by right quick. Hold up. What's the password? Head on through. Here you go. I hope this helps. Welcome. There's food and water here for any citizen of the NCR. Please. Have some more. No, I'm afraid we don't. Don't you have a friend you want to bring in? That's not really a pleasant topic of conversation. Let's just say we have our reasons. You know, Julie? Not everyone in the NCR sees eye to eye with the followers, but they're okay in my book, mostly because of her. If you really want to know, we sent an envoy to the king, offering to coordinate the relief effort. Our envoy was brutally beaten and only barely survived. My superiors ordered the relief mission scrapped. I managed to get clearance to carry out the mission anyway, but with greatly reduced support. Now there's not enough supplies to go around, even if I wanted to serve the rest of Freeside, which I don't. That's all in the past now. I should get back to work. Say hi to Julie for me. Hmm. Alright. But yeah, he's the bad guy. Hey there. I heard that NCR soldier lady told you some wild story about them sending a messenger to us to work out some deal. That's bullshit, and it's nothing to bother the king with. More like they sent someone to spy on us, and he wasn't tough enough to last in Freeside. So do everyone a favor and keep your mouth shut about it, okay? You're a bastard after my own heart. Here, this should do it.
Good. Yeah. You find out something about them so... Hey there. I heard that NCR soldier lady told you. That's bullshit, and it's nothing to bother the king with. More like they sent someone to spot. So do everyone a favor and keep your mind. That's a shame. Well, do what you want. Just don't expect it to matter. You find out something about them? Handing out supplies? Like food and stuff? That ain't nothing to get ruffled over. You find anything else? Ah, that would explain the goons. They're here to keep people like my friends away from the food. That ain't something I support. No, sir. Wait a minute, wait a minute. They said what? Huh, that would explain why they're all riled at us. Seems like we have a big misunderstanding. What the hell? King, we've got problems. Lay it on me. What's going on? There's a shootout going down near the train station. It's Pacer and some strangers. It might be NCR. What is that fool doing? I need you to head out there and try to defuse the situation. Tell them I'm willing to cooperate. What's up? Wanna get lucky? Head on down to the Atomic Wrangler. This isn't really a good time. What did you want? Like he helped the envoy we sent? <laughs> no thanks. Then he should watch his back. We know for a fact that the envoy made it to their headquarters. Still, if the king's willing to deal with us, perhaps we can work something out. I'll tell my men to stand down. The king just sent a messenger over, saying these guys are off limits. He's probably already... Looks like you get to be a hero. Oh, shoot you in your face. Shoot you in your damn face. I heard all about what happened. Maybe it's time for a little more talking and a little less fighting. You've helped us plenty, so I'll tell you what. Just this once, name whatever you want. And if I can make it happen, it's done. Don't rush it, though. Toss it around in your head a little. You only get one favor from the king. Hmm. From the king.
Things have been a lot better since you helped with those soldier boys. Thanks again. So, what can I do for you? Alright. Hmm. 